All right, what is going on, guys? Tell Twins back at you with another video. Week 16 predictions. Final two weeks of the regular season, man. This is when games matter the most. This is when teams will be playing their hardest to get into the postseason. We want to welcome a special guest to the channel for the first time doing predictions with us. Rex from Discord. What's up, man? What's up, guys? How you been? Good. I mean, after last night, that... Lowered my self esteem, but <laughs> yeah, that that, that that debacle. Rex is indeed a Steelers fan as well, so these should be interesting predictions. We start off with Friday night football, actually Christmas night football. And before we get into the predictions, man, we want to wish you guys and of course Rex joining us a very Merry Christmas, a Happy Holidays. Hope you guys enjoy your holiday, man. Uh, stay safe, cherish the family time, um, enjoy the day, and uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to you guys. But Friday. Christmas night football. We have the Minnesota Vikings at the New Orleans Saints. Uh, what's your prediction here? Um, I got New Orleans thirty-one to twenty-one. I think they'll they'll pull it off. Yeah, I'd I'd have to agree. I got to go New Orleans here. Uh, Minnesota could give them a tough challenge. This is actually a rematch from years prior when they were in the playoffs. Of course. Um, let's go New Orleans twenty-seven twenty-three. Uh. I believe New Orleans has lost two straight, actually. Yeah, they have. So mm -hmm. they're going to try to get that number one seed back. Uh, they got to against the, the Vikings. So, yeah, I got I got the Saints. Yeah, I'm going to go New Orleans, let's say 29-26. I do think this game will be very competitive. Okay. Now we have Saturday night football once again, like last week. We have Saturday night football. We have the first game, Tampa Bay at Detroit. What's your prediction here, Rex? Mm, I got Tom Brady in the Bucks, twenty-eight to seventeen. Yeah, as much as I hate to say it, I have to agree. Um, mm -hmm. De Detroit has nothing going for it right now, at all. No, so then, then might as well just try to get a higher pick, right? Get somebody on the defense or, or whatever to help their team, right? Um, so let's go Tampa, thirty-one seventeen. Yeah, I'm going to easily go Tampa Bay. I'm going to say 34-20. to 20. Okay. Next game, we have the San Francisco 49ers at the Arizona Cardinals in the NFC West matchup. So, uh, what's your prediction here? Mm, I got I got the Cardinals. 24-14 to 14 by 10. Yeah. Uh, I think they'll pull it off. Yeah, I'd have to agree. I got to go Arizona. Um, San Francisco is actually out of playoff contention. Um now because they've officially been eliminated from playoff contention. They made a Super Bowl last year, but they've also been dealt with a truckload of injuries. So you can't really fault San Francisco there. They I mean they're they could only do so much with so many backups. Right. Arizona yeah. wins Arizona wins here. Let's go twenty four twenty one. I think this is close. Yeah, I think Arizona still keeps their playoff hopes alive and win this one. I'm gonna say thirty three to twenty one. Okay. Not only is uh, Arizona trying to keep their playoffs alive, as is the Las Vegas Raiders, they uh, host the Miami Dolphins here. Um, what's your predictions here? I think it's going to be close. 17-14 to 14 mm. Raiders. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can see this being close for sure. Now, I don't know what is up with the Raiders. They they were once 6-3. and three. I, I, I forget the record now. 7-6, um, 7-7, and six, seven and seven, something, something, yeah. something along those lines. But they have really dropped this second half of the season. Um, they still have a chance to make the playoffs. I mean, it's, they're going to be having to ask a lot of favors, but yeah, it's still their, their playoff hopes are still alive. But Miami's looking really good <laughs> right now. Um, I think they are a playoff team. I think they're going to clinch the playoffs very shortly. Let's go Miami twenty nine twenty one. This could come down to the wire. I'm gonna go with my yeah Miami here. Uh. I do think this will be very competitive. Uh, I know the Raiders don't go down without a fight, but I don't think they're going to go out with the win. I'm going to say Miami 28-22. to Okay. Now we have Sunday games. We start off with the Atlanta Falcons at the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, what's your prediction here? Um, The Chiefs. But I think the Falcons are going to keep it. I mean, They're going to keep it a bit close. It's going to be like 35-28. to Okay. Yeah, I agree with you completely. I think this is close because the Atlanta offense – Still has life. They still have great weapons. They could finally get Julio back. I believe Ito Smith will be starting over Todd Gurley really, at yep. running back. So, I think it's close. That Kansas City defense is still a little suspect. But, I mean, you can't bet against Kansas City and Patrick Mahomes, can you? Especially against the Atlanta Falcons, who 
blew another lead last week to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Mm-hmm. Again, it, it, it's becoming a common thing with, with, with these guys. So let's go Kansas City. 37-30. Kansas City. Uh, I, mm, 32 to 26. I do think Atlanta's offense will definitely keep it close because Kansas City's defense is very suspect, but Kansas City comes out with the victory. Okay. Next game, we have the Cleveland Browns, who actually have double digit wins this year. Congratu- Believe it or not. Congratulations. Yes, Stefanski has definitely done wonders for that team. We have the Cleveland Browns at the New York Jets, who have actually won a game. They are no longer winless, they beat the Rams last week. Can they pull off another upset against the Cleveland Browns? Uh, us being Steelers fans, we would absolutely adore that. But honestly, do we see that happening? What's your prediction, Han? I see a blowout. Um, <laughs> 31 to 14. Well, I guess not. That's kind of a ball. But 31 to 14, Cleveland. Yeah. Um, I, I have to say the same thing. Uh, I actually think Cleveland puts another 40 burger on them. 41 to 20. As much as I would love the Jets to help us. And beat Cleveland, it's not going to happen. I, I don't even know why they won last week. I understand no team really wants to go winless all season. But they literally gave away Trevor Lawrence. They did. I mean, Justin Fields ain't a bad option, but Trevor Lawrence was your guy. Trevor Lawrence is generational. Yeah. So, and they messed that up. I don't think they have any chance to reclaim him unless the Jags win another game. But you know dang well they're not. No. Tre- uh, Trevor Lawrence is happy right now. Oh, you, oh, you, you bet. Right about now. I mean, no one wants to be a Jed. No. So I feel bad for Justin Fields right now. I really do. That's, uh, like, the, that's like the worst New York team. It really is. Without a doubt, man. Uh, I'm going to go Cleveland here, dude. I'm going to say 28-14. to 14. Okay. Next game, we have the Indianapolis Colts at the Pittsburgh Steelers. We are, of course, Pittsburgh Steelers fans. Rex, uh, this should be interesting. What's your prediction, man? Well, I think it's going to be close, but I think Tomlin could turn us around here. Okay. I think it's going to be 21 to 17 Steelers. Oh, wow. You actually have the Steelers scoring 20 points? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, I will say this. The, the Colts have not beaten the Pittsburgh Steelers in over a decade. They haven't beaten us since 2008. We have had their number for the last 10 years. So we have that on our side. But the, the opponents we've lost to the last three weeks – We've also had winning streaks against them at some point. Mm-hmm. And that did not matter. I think we I think I think uh the football team I don't, I think Washington didn't beat us since like nineteen ninety three or something. Then they they gave us our first loss. I think Buffalo didn't beat us in Buffalo since the nineties or something. Then they beat us in Buffalo. And then the, the Bengals. Ba- the beat, Bengals we beat them eleven straight times. And then they beat us. Yeah. So we could say we have the Colts number, they haven't beaten us in over a decade. Uh, apparently that doesn't matter anymore. Uh, I'm hopeful, and I really hope to see some progression. But I don't want to get my hopes up, knowing how the Steelers' offense has not even upgraded even an ounce. No, you can't go in with any expectations. Otherwise, you're just going to end up uh more disappointed than you already are. Well, it's at Pittsburgh, so Juju can't dance on their logo. It is, yeah, <laughs> uh, maybe that's good luck. Maybe maybe, maybe 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 he reverses the curse and dances on our logo instead of other teams' logos. Who knows? But um, this is our last home game, so they could go out with a bang. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Uh, but I hate to say it, I gotta go Indy here. I would love this team to turn around, and like you said, I would love Tomlin to turn around. The last few years, he has, you know really failed the the last few weeks of the regular season. Yep. The last few years. This is uh, apparently another occurrence. I'm hoping he can, you know, turn it around. But as of right now, I got to go Indy. I'm not confident with this team right now. I got to go mm-hmm. Indy. Uh, 24-18. It's kind of hard to be confident with this team, and I'm actually going to agree. I'm going to say Indianapolis gets a victory. I'm going. That, that's go, respectable. Yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, the Colts are a good team. They really are. I'm gonna say 26 to 13 in Indianapolis. 13. Yeah, that's it. With this offense, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see. We'll see though. We'll see. But next game we got Chicago at Jacksonville. Yeah, I don't think Jacksonville is winning another game just because of the fact that they have secured the number one. 
pick. No, but so. what what is your prediction here, Rex? Well, I think they're going to keep it close, but I don't think they're. I mean, I don't know. I don't. Chicago hasn't been really playing all that well the last part of the season, so I'm going to go Chicago 17 to 14. It's yeah. kind of close, but. Surprisingly, Chicago's offense has put up 30 points the last few weeks. Three straight games, I think. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how. David Montgomery has definitely taken the rock and ran with it, so good good on him. He's finally showing off his potential. So yeah, I, I just I, I don't know why. I just have a feeling this game's going to be close in low scoring. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, honestly. Uh, Chicago is fighting for a playoff spot. You know, I believe they're trying to take it from the Cardinals, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. But Jacksonville could show some signs of life a little bit. James Robinson's obviously a – a stud being undrafted rookie. Gordon Mitchell might get the start, but I still gotta go Chicago. Uh let's go thirty three to ten. Yeah, I'm gonna go Chicago. I'm gonna say thirty to ten. Okay. Next game we have the New York Giants at the Baltimore Ravens. Ravens are fighting for a playoff spot as well. What's your prediction here? Um I think the Ravens are gonna put it on the Giants. Thirty one to fourteen Ravens. Yeah. I think Ravens are winning out. They have a very easy schedule the rest of the way. Um, let's go Baltimore, 34-17. Yeah, I'm going to go Baltimore here easily. Let's say 31-21. to 21. Okay. Next game, we have the Cincinnati Bengals at the Houston Texans. Um, kind of a coin toss, I'd say, but what's your prediction? I'm going to go 24-20 to 20 Houston. Yeah, I mean, the, the Bengals did beat us, uh, at, at their stadium last week, but, um... It's at Houston. Yeah, so. it, it is. And, and I, but, I mean, both these teams' seasons are over. I mean, obviously none of them mm-hmm. making the playoffs. They they got to get – they got to rebuild that offense. They got to rebuild the coaching staff, all that. And their defense too. Right. But I got – So they're really just playing for bragging rights. Right, exactly. So I, I – I, I go about it. Draft pick depends how you go about it. Right. So I, I got to go Houston, I guess. 26-23. I'm going to go Houston here. Uh, Let's say – 27 to 20. I do think Houston is definitely going to try to get these last two wins in the last two weeks of the game. Try to ha- make sure Miami doesn't get too early of a pick, considering right. they don't have one. Right. So we'll see. I don't know, but I got Houston here. Right. Next thing we have the Denver Broncos at the Los Angeles Chargers. The Chargers beat the Raiders last week on Thursday Night Football with Justin Herbert running a sneak. But um, what's your prediction here? I, I really, I really like the Chargers. I mean, the record doesn't show anything special, but I really think they could be good next year. So I'm going to go with the Chargers 24 to 21. Yeah, I, I agree with everything completely. They just need a new coaching staff. Herbert has weapons. He has a, a good running back when he's healthy. Uh, he could use a better offensive line. That defense of the Chargers sure misses Derwin Gray. I'm sorry, Derwin Gray. I'm sorry, excuse me. Uh, Derwin James. So I got to go with the Chargers. The Broncos are pretty much done for the year. They might as well just rest everything up, hopefully get fully healthy, and then show off that potential that we thought they had this year for next year. Right. So let's go Los Angeles, the Chargers. Let's go 23-20. I'm going to go Los Angeles here. Uh, I do think this will be extremely close, though. Uh, let's say 24-23. to Okay, Chargers. Next game, we have the Carolina Panthers at the Washington football team. I believe if Washington wins, they clinch the division. I could be wrong. But either I, way, I think you're correct. Either way, they are first in the division, nonetheless. So, what's your prediction here? I got. This is a close one. I, don't, I think I have. I'm gonna go Washington, sixteen to thirteen. Yeah, uh, I'd have to go Washington as well. I, I first of all, I believe the Panthers are a top five pick in this upcoming draft. So, if I'm them, I just keep. I just like finish the rest of the year. I wouldn't even play Christian McCaffrey anymore. Let him get fully healthy for next year. Um, take an early pick, start rebuilding again. Matt Rule will, you know, make his offseason moves. You know, he's got that year under his belt now, so hopefully next year maybe they show off that full potential, fix up the defense a little bit. Mm-hmm. Find that replacement for Luke Keekley because Shaq Thompson really has not been able to do it. Not at all. So, uh, let's go Washington. 20-17. to 17. Yeah, I'm going to go Washington here. I think they'll clinch the division make the playoffs. 29-23. Uh, to 23. Right. Now, two teams that are hoping that Washington does not indeed win are the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. That is the game we have up next. What's your prediction here? 
I got Philadelphia. I don't trust Dallas anymore. I thought I'd, I thought they were gonna be good with Dak, but then he lost an ankle. <laughs> so I got Philadelphia twenty-one to seventeen. Yeah, I mean, Jalen Hurts will be getting his third straight start. And I got to say, Jalen Hurts has been looking really, really good the last two weeks, especially last week. He almost led him back against the Cardinals. But, man, he, he opened my eyes a little bit. I think he's perfect for that Doug Peter or Doug Peterson uh, system. I think he's the quarterback to go with for the Eagles. I think Carson Wentz is on his way out. They got to trade him to maybe Indianapolis, maybe another quarterback needy team. Um Jalen Hurts look good. I think they'll. I think he'll continue to look good uh, as the season ends. Um, Philadelphia season's over. They're not going to make the playoffs because no, but they're four nine and one right now. No, but Jalen Hurts has a big opportunity to show that hey, I can be the franchise of this team. Right. I, I can. I can be the one that can turn this team around because ever since ever since he stepped in, Philadelphia has been way more competitive. Right. And against the Dallas Cowboys, a rival, a big rival, I think. He leads him to victory, uh, 31-23. Yeah, I'm going to go Philly. Yeah, a good game for him. Yeah, it will. Yeah, I definitely think uh, he will as well. I'm going to say Philadelphia, 28-24. to Okay. Next game, we have the Los Angeles Rams, who just lost to the Jets, Jets at the Seattle Seahawks. So, what's your prediction here? I'm going to go the Seahawks, 35-17. to Okay. Yeah, I mean, the Rams usually have the Seahawks number. These games are always competitive. The Rams, I believe, won their first matchup. This is in Seattle. I think Seattle's uh, going to, you know, try to keep winning and gain a higher seed into the playoffs. Uh, so let's go Seattle. I, I also just can't trust the Rams after losing to the to the Jets. I don't know. Yeah, because if they win and Green Bay loses, which yeah. is very doable. Right. So let's go Seattle. Uh, let's go. I actually think this is very low scoring, eighteen to sixteen. Okay, I'm gonna go Seattle here. Uh, despite how the Rams performed last week, how they lost to the Jets, you know damn well they're going to be very competitive when it comes to a division rival and for the division title, because both of them are neck and neck when it comes to that division title now. Mm-hmm. So this is a big matchup for both teams. Uh, I do think Seattle does come out with the win though. I'm gonna say twenty-seven to twenty-one Seattle. All right. Now, Sunday Night Football, we have an incredible matchup, game of the week. We have the Tennessee Titans at the Green Bay Packers. I believe Green Bay is number one seed in the NFC. I believe if they win, they have the chance to clinch it. This is in Lambeau, of course. So what's your prediction here? It should be a great game. Yeah, it's going to be a great game for sure. But I think I think Devontae Adams and A-Rod, are, I don't think you can stop them, really. I mean, they're... Probably the best wide receiver, uh, quarterback to wide receiver, wide receiver duo in the game right now. Yeah. So I got the I got Green Bay edging over the Titans, thirty-one to twenty-eight. Yeah, I can see this being high scoring. Very high scoring. That Tennessee defense is not good, and Green Bay has weapons that can definitely make plays. Like you said, Adams, Aaron Jones is obviously a benefactor. Um, Robert Tunyon, he's a very good tight end. He actually got snubbed from the Pro Bowl. No. Um. Now, Tennessee also has weapons that can make plays on the Green Bay defense that is somewhat vulnerable. Derrick Henry is obviously number one. Like, I mean, and, he's... And, and you got A.J. Brown. You got, A.J. Brown, yeah. You got Corey Davis who stepped up big time. Corey Davis could have another big game because A.J. Brown versus Jair Alexander will be a very fun matchup to watch. Yep. So I can see Corey Davis being a benefactor of that. But I, I'm actually going to go Green Bay here. Uh, I think that number one seed is in their hands, and they can't risk to let it go. So... I got Green Bay. Let's go 30 to 26. I'm going to go the Green Bay Packers here. I'm going to say 34 28. Okay. Should be a good one, though, no doubt. And to close out week 16, guys, we have Monday Night Football and AFC East matchup. We have the Buffalo Bills, who have already clinched the, the AFC East, the division, for the first time in 25 years, at the New England Patriots, who, for the first time in I don't know how long, are not going to make the playoffs. 11 years. Feels good. So, what's your prediction here? I think New England's got nothing to play for, so I think it's going to be a a blowout. Yeah. I'm going to go 34-17. to At this point, Belichick might as well just tank for a a higher pick and go grab your future quarterback or even a a, a tight end, a Kyle Pitts. Right. So, which that would be unfair, but 
I can see them totally getting Kyle Pitts in the first round and going to get a quarterback in the second. I could see that too. Well, they need a quarterback, and they obviously need a tight end. So you get your duo right there. That's a Bill Belichick move right there. I agree with Rex. Uh, I got to go with Buffalo. 22-18. to 18. This is close just because maybe it's a, their division rivals. They're both two good defenses. So Yeah, I do think this will be close, but I got Buffalo just edging it out. I'm going to say 26-23. Okay. Anyway, guys, that was our Week 16 predictions. Let us know you guys' predictions down below, man. Want to give a huge shout, huge thank you to Rex for his time, for his uh, predictions, man. Of course, uh, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to the viewers, man. Happy holidays to you guys. Enjoy your holiday. Have a great one, man. Um, of course, you are more, <clears throat> more than welcome to join us with the peace outro. So, Rob, you can sign us out, man. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace!